This is perhaps my toughest challenge yet. Today, I will not be drafting a single player. Guys, welcome into another 2022 NFL Mock Draft Challenge. Excuse me. I just had pizza. Uh, we are going to be going in with the Houston Texans and just trading every pick and trying to accumulate as much 2023 draft capital as humanly possible along with as much 2024 draft capital as humanly possible. So we will not be drafting a single player. I'm just going to go in and do this. I don't know where I think of it. It's just, this is just a dumb idea, but I'm doing it anyways. By the way, guys, you can take a look. Well, we'll let this go. Yeah, we'll let the first few picks go. Um, you can take a look. Derek Stingley Jr. is the number two overall player on PFF's big board. What are you doing, PFF? PFF. Guys, Charles Cross, you're killing me. You are killing me. You're hurting me. Jameson Williams? Ooh, come on. Garrett Wilson is your number three receiver. Ouch. No wonder no one takes you seriously. Okay, so at my actual, um, what I actually want to do in terms of strategy, I'm not just going to trade the third overall pick for like a 2023. Actually, could I get two first round picks for this? I can't. No, I'm not going to do that. My strategy, because the third overall pick is so valuable, is actually to trade back, you know, getting more 2022 picks. I'll end up trading these 2022 picks for 2023 picks, if that makes sense. Guys, I'm very smart. I know what I'm doing. But watch what I do here. Watch this very closely. Well, we can't do that. What if we threw in Davis Mills? How does Davis Mills have any value? That makes no sense. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and try and get the fifth. Okay, see, that's just completely realistic. Davis Mills has that value. But guys, watch what I'm doing. What I have to do now, I'll take five. I'm. This is a very interesting thing. Should I trade for eight and then try and get a first? Wow, I might actually be able to do that. Brandon, no, I, I want to keep Brandon Cooks. So I wonder if the Philip Dorsett glitches. Wow, <laughs> Philip Dorsett has Philip Dorsett has negative trade value. That's just disrespectful. That's disrespectful. Look at Philip Dorsett's trade value. I've got him in the trade right now. Eleven percent chance to be accepted. You hate to see it. it it's it's just it's it's sad. It it saddens me. But I'm gonna go ahead if they accept this. Wow. I'm not rigging it, guys. They just randomly accepted it. It said 30% chance. So we get our first 2023 first rounder. That's a valuable first round pick from Atlanta. There's zero chance the Atlanta Falcons would trade their 2023 first round pick. Their starting quarterback this year is Marcus Mariota. They're going to be tanking. They're trying to get C.J. Stroud or Bryce Young. It makes no sense. But you know what? If we somehow acquired their first-round pick for 2023, now we have three first-round picks for 2023. We're going to trade with the Jets. We'll move back to 10. Could we get your 2020? No, we're not going to be able to do that. We're not going to be able to do that. Um, Maybe we can get their 2023. And Oh, my goodness. Can I get their second round? We'll get their second round. Result. We'll give you Brandon Cooks. Brandon Cooks has negative trade value too? Probably because he signed that two-year contract. Probably why. Nico Collins? Oh my, these guys have horror. Like, it's going downhill. These It might be team needs. It might be based on team needs. But you would think, I'm trading with the Jets. They need receivers. But I don't know. Maybe they just don't like those. Lonnie Johnson. Okay, this roster is horrible. Nothing against ten, you know Houston. I know they're tanking. I understand they're not trying to win. Layer me? Nope. So basically, nobody on this roster is worth anything. Because I used to trade these guys all the time when I used to do these drafts. Well, we, we might just have to trade. Yeah, okay. So what we'll, we'll, we'll do, we'll just offer this. I don't, yeah, it's not going to accept it. That's fine. We don't need a second rounder. This would be a crazy trade. So we're trading the seventh overall pick. For the Jets 2023 first and second rounder and their 2024 first rounder. Very interesting trade. I'm probably just gonna what I ooh, New England. I could probably what I could probably do is trade for all of their first No, nah, I can't do that. I want well is is that worth it? To trade yeah, it is worth it. But they wouldn't do that. What if I threw in Cooks? Okay, they, they, they value Brandon Cooks. They value Brandon Cooks. They want to help Mac Jones out a little bit. We get another 2023 first rounder. We'll take it. It's a win-win for everyone. I like what's going on right now. 15-18.
we want your first rounder. You're not going to do that. Yeah, we knew you weren't going to do that. I'll just take 18 then and your first rounder. What about New Orleans first rounder? All right, Philadelphia really is just, uh, they're playing hardball, and I respect it. I really do. They want N'Kobe Dean. They're not going to trade that pick. We'll try and get a first rounder. We will throw in Philip Dorsett. Yeah, he's still got negative trade value. Nico Collins has a little trade value. Not too much, though. Don't want to give up any assets. This is going to be a... I don't even know why I did this video. Rex, They updated Rex, Rex Burkhead's trade value. I did a video where I was able to trade like Rex Burkhead for a first-round pick. Who knows? Um, but they've updated it now, and he doesn't have that much trade value. Tunsil should have some. I know he has a bad contract, but... Not nearly enough. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to pry that first round pick out of Arizona's hands. Lonnie Johnson Jr., get yourself a safety. Get yourself a good guard. Yeah, this roster is so bad. Get yourself a young tight end. No, not gonna, not gonna work. Okay, this roster is just, this is going nowhere fast. Could I get a first round of their, could I get, I'll just take their whole draft then. Yeah, you know, we'll just take... I'll try and acquire a bunch of 6th and 7th rounders because I, I just like doing that. I don't know why. And they, they don't want to do it. <laughs> what if we gave you like two of... No, like, we don't need the 5th rounders. No, you know what? We want the 5th rounders. We don't need the 3rd rounder. We don't need the 3rd rounder. There you go. There, That's a realistic trade. That is realistic. I like that. Now we're going to go ahead and trade with a team. Um, We want your 2024 first rounder. Oh, come on, New England. You are greedy. You want the number 21 overall pick, but you're not willing to give up a first rounder? Bill Belichick is Satan himself. Do I have to trade with this team, though? I have to trade with them. So, how do I do this? I have, no. I, Bill Belichick, dude, you are a devil. You are. Guys, what do you guys think about Bill Belichick's relationship with Mac Jones? Mac Jones is basically a sex slave. It's the weirdest relationship. Mac Jones was a sex slave for Nick Saban. Now he's a sex slave for Bill Belichick. What the hell is going on there? That is messed up. That is messed up. All right, that I guess this could work. What if I gave you, well, I have to, the problem is I have to trade this pick. I cannot draft a player. I'm not allowed. I told myself, I gave myself the challenge. You cannot draft a player. I said that to myself. Look at their draft. Look at New England's 2023 picks. Two fourth rounders, a sixth and a seventh. You got Cole in your stocking for that. You get Cole there. You know what? Instead of taking a second rounder, I want your fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh and your third. That's a hundred IQ play right there. There it is, the 100 IQ play. I like seeing that. Next, we have pick number 37. This is where it's probably going to start. I Actually, I might not be able to... I might ha be forced to draft the player if there's no one I can trade with. That could be a problem. I want your... Could I get your first rounder? No, but I will take your second, third. I'll just take your entire draft. I, you know what? I'm just going to take your entire draft because we we I have needs. I have personal needs. Excuse you. It's like when a fat ass like eats pizza. I've got personal needs. I have to eat. <laughs> we trade down. We trade for everything. And okay, we've got crap picks left. This I might have to draft a player. Please, someone. Tra okay, there's somebody that's willing to trade. Thank you. That's all I need. So my 2023 war chest is looking sexy right now. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We've only got six first round picks. I thought I was going to get more. I think it's just this roster has no talent that I can trade. Along with the fact that, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. I don't even know. But then we also have four first rounders in 2024. One, only one second round. How many second rounders? One, two, three, four, five. Five second rounders in 2023. All right, we're just going to try and get a bunch of uh, second rounders now. So we will give you 68. We want a second rounder. Really? You're ungrateful. You're ungrateful. We want both your third. Okay, we can do something like this then. You want to play like this? We want your sixth and seventh. We, we, I will throw in a player. I will throw in Nico Collins. You know what? We also want the fifth. We also want another fifth. We also want a second. All right. We're not going to be greedy about it. We're not going to be greedy. We'll just take your entire draft. No, we really didn't get that many good picks from Tennessee. I give Tennessee credit there. They hung on to their top picks. I can respect something like that.
Now we've got Kansas City. You know what, guys? You can have pick number 80, but we're going to want... You know what? We're going to throw in a player. We're going to throw in Rex Burkhead. Build a nice dream trade package. This is an elite trade package. We should get a second round pick. Yep. I actually think... How is Rex Burkhead this valuable, folks? There's no way. We got a second rounder. We got a second rounder from Kansas City. This is where I might have to draft... A, again, if there's nobody that is willing to trade... Oh, there's five teams. Thank God. Oh, thank God. We can keep trading. So now what we're going to do is... Uh, we're going to go ahead and trade 107. I could just actually trade all of these picks. Yeah, that's my. Uh, that's what I'll try and do. Trade all these picks for... Wow, they won't even do a second rounder. What if I threw in a player? What if I threw in... We already traded Tunsil. I don't remember that. Um. Yeah, there's no one on this roster. You know what? We can do this. We'll take a 2024 20, second. You, okay, you're not interested. I, I, I understand. I understand, guys. Lonnie Johnson Jr., that's probably the best uh, value player I have left. And it goes through, so we get a second rounder. And uh, that's it. I mean, can I even see my draft picks? I don't even think I can see my draft. If I trade back up, I can see my draft picks. Okay, so these are my, all my draft picks, guys. 2022, zero picks. 2023, we've got six first rounders. We've got, looks like, six second rounders. Fourth, imagine you actually... Imagine if a team actually had this war chest for 2023 and 2024. Oh my goodness. Six first rounders in 2023, four first rounders in 2024, two second rounders, and then a bunch of crap. We're going to let this thing load, and I want to see what they grade my draft. L l yeah, let's see what they decide to grade my draft now. Wow, Bo Melton went in the fifth round. It's great to see. Wow, Haskell Garrett went in the sixth. I thought he was a fourth round type player. Whoa. Whoa. Jalen Weidermeyer. You, there might not have been a bigger player that lost money at the combine than Jalen Weidermeyer. That dude went into the combine as a second round pick. He and and he just got destroyed. Um, please load. If it doesn't, there's really nothing I can do if it doesn't load. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. So guys, let me. You know what? I'll actually let me review my draft. Let me just review my draft, guys. So first, we ended up drafting. No one. We ended up drafting no one, guys. <laughs> that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description. I'm, of course, the Depressed Ginger. Thank you for watching.